What's going on guys? I hope you're doing well. I'm on the way to church right now. I got my coffee. It is cold here in Charleston. I know there are places in the country that are getting it way, way worse. But for Charleston, this is cold. We got some serious uh, ice crystallization on the windshield. But just a quick thought. So my old, my oldest, my middle son, Jonathan, is 10 today. Today's his birthday. And it's so crazy. People always tell you, you know, to savor the moment. It goes by so quick and all that. And man, it definitely feels true right now. I think the thing that sticks out to me as just a principle for living, you know, for as parents, but for really all of us um, every single day, is that each day really is a gift. And, you know, and, and I, I feel like at the risk of sounding too cliche with this, it's like you have to live each day as if it was the only one you got. I mean, that's the best way I could think about it. I mean, I, it's hard to think about each day as if it could be your last, like, you know, like, because most of us don't live with an impending sense of doom as if death is around, just right around the corner. I don't know if that's really practical to try to live that way, but, but the way that makes sense to me is live each day like it's the only one you got. Because it, because one thing that's definitely true is I think back on my journey of parenting, my oldest son is almost 12, JoJo's 10, and then Sammy's six. I mean, I know we still got a long way to go, but as I think about it, I'm like all of our best memories are, compri are, are made up of very ordinary todays. So um, that, that, that's not a, to put stress on ourselves, like today's gotta be perfect, but just to, Thank God for each day, pray that each day you would follow him and then and then endeavor to to get, to capitalize on the moments to you know like for me it looks like when I'm tired and I just want to hang out on the couch and Jojo says, "Hey dad, like let's go Excuse me. Hey dad, let's go play catch." Like in that moment, I don't want to, but I but I, I have this instantaneous thing in my head that's like, you know that later on, you're gonna be much more grateful that you played catch right now with him than than not. And it, it, and those types of those types of decisions happen all the time. And I I guess my encouragement and my challenge to all of us is just make the most of those times. Whether it's your, when your kids or a loved one wants to spend time with you, if there's a text you're thinking about sending out to just let someone know how much you appreciate them, or sometimes what I do is I uh, I record a prayer and I send it to somebody, just the audio of a prayer to encourage them. Like all the, that stuff, it's so ordinary, but it's what makes it's the, it's the those are the kind of things that make great todays. So let me pray for us because I. I I want all of us to live the life that God paid such a high price for by sending his son. So let me pray. God, thank you so much for your faithfulness. And thank you for uh, warm weather and cold weather. Thank you for your love for us. And thank you for another day to be alive. I pray for every single person uh, listening to this, that you would help all of us to say yes to you. That we would say yes to following you. That we would say yes to the way of life you've called us to of loving you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and loving others as ourselves, God. Have your way in our lives today, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, see you guys.